hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is janet on today's video i'm going to be teaching you how you can add google font to your project to customize the font you are using in your project adding google font to your project will help you to change to to change the font you are using and to make your project look more professional than using the regular browser default font so if this is your first time in my channel don't forget to subscribe and tap on the notification bell so without wasting too much of your time let's dive straight into today's project so guys this is the project i'll be working with i'm just going to open it inside my project i have h1 and the p tag so let's see the results of the project so i'm going to add some google custom font to this page don't forget to subscribe to my channel so i'm just going to head down to a new tab and type font.google.com and then you hit enter it's going to open up this page so here we have categories you have the choice to choose whichever one you want but for me i like to use all of them so i always check all of them so we have language you can change it to your language we have the fonts properties i usually don't check them if you want numbers thickness slant and width you can do that to your choice but i usually don't touch that so here we have um, the view of your browser so how big you want them to be so i'm just going to leave it at 35 it's okay so the, the the thing is you want to choose a font that have enough style that you can work with let's take for instance we have this but by the time you check, we don't have enough style. But for some reason, in your project, you might need this font. It doesn't matter. You can still go ahead and choose it. But for this, I really do not need this for this project. So I want to use something else. You can search as well. I'm just going to go back and then search. Let me use... Let me use this roboto condensed so i'm just going to click on it and then come down to select the style that i want um let me use let me choose regular mostly people use regular though so you can choose regular and then I have 300 selected already so okay just going to go back again and choose something else um, let's use this robot alone so actually let me use something obvious that we can see let me choose this and then we have this so after selecting the font that you want i just come here if you want to add it to your css you can click on this then you copy this and paste it inside your css but for this i'm going to add it to my html so i'm just going to click on link and then i'll copy all these links i'll copy them Control c to copy then i come to my project and paste it on the head of my project uh oh 
so I don't copy. Control C did not copy, so you right click and copy. Then you come to the head and paste it. So there we have it. So here there's a description on, on how you can use it. So I'm just going to copy one of it. Let me use this. So I'm going to target the body in my project. So to do that, inside my style, I'm just going to do body. And then I'm going to paste that. Control V to paste. Then Control S to save. Then I head on to my project. As you can see, it's changed. So that's how you can change and customize the fonts that you're using in your project. So thank you for watching this video. If this video helps, kindly subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell. See you in my next video. Bye.